greetings royals we are live greetings 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 how are the royals doing today okay we need to check the Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you all royals. How are you? Happy blessed Sunday to you all. I trust you're all doing great. I trust you're all winning. It's a beautiful blessed Sunday. Blessed Sunday and we are in the month of May. How is everyone doing? I hope you're all great. I hope you have been winning. I hope you are winning and taking charge. We are ready for today. We are ready for the word. I hope the background um, music is not too loud. <clears throat> How is everyone? We are ready for the word real. So we are live on our um, Facebook page at Fountain Insights Change today. We are not um, on Instagram. Um, we are not on Instagram today. So we're just going to let them know that they can watch the message on our YouTube channel. It will be available. All right, before we waste time, Royals, this is a beautiful Sunday. We're not going to be here for a long time. So we just are going to you know begin our beautiful live streaming with um gratitude like you all know did i greet i think i did <laughs> i greet you all in the name of our lord jesus christ this is right shalom so we are ready for the word royals we are ready i would like us to start by showing gratitude to our heavenly father right now we thank god for the week we had we will thank him for blessings we will thank him for all the great things that he's doing in our lives you know there's so much to be grateful to god for we will thank him you know for our families our jobs our businesses you know there's so much to thank him so we're just going to show some gratitude to our heavenly father right now before we start with the message reals go ahead and pray wherever you are right now go ahead and speak in tongues go ahead and show some gratitude to heavenly father Michael thank him for the week that you had the blessings that you received show some gratitude for open doors lord we are grateful to you oh god we thank you for this blessed week we thank you for your word even now in the name of jesus we are grateful to you oh god for your presence we are grateful to you oh god for precious holy spirit we are grateful to you oh god for uplifting us each and every single day with your word in the name of jesus lord we thank you we thank you for blessing us we thank you for our families our jobs our businesses we thank you for our organizations we thank you god for our ministries we are grateful to you oh god we thank you for your mercy we thank you for your love we thank you for your grace at work in us in the name of jesus lord we are grateful we thank you father for this platform we thank your god for this moment as well that as we share your word we will be equipped lord we will receive your word right now in the name of jesus that will take us yet to another level of growth in the name of our lord jesus christ our minds are open our spirits are open our hearts are open to receive lord we thank you in the name of our lord jesus christ we pray amen glory to god so yes that is gratitude reals there's so much to be grateful to god for always i hope you know that and you do take some time just to show gratitude to heavenly father what has god done for you what is he doing for you there's so much to thank god for glory to god so now without wasting time royals uh we started just like 10 minutes earlier right and i did mention that we might start like 2 30 or so so now we are here and we're gonna be very quick 
the message will be brief yet very powerful all right so now looking at what we shared previously you know we we, we have some messages that we shared on God, on on our grace in abundance and then uh we shared us all many scriptures last week as well we spoke about your source you know who is your source your source that is your supplier the place where something come from you know i mean uh, it says the place where something comes from um we're talking about the power of god right now we're talking about the connection that we have with our heavenly father and we said that the month of may is our month of fruitfulness and because we are connected to our heavenly father and we are connected to our lord jesus christ remember we shared some scriptures as well um talking about when jesus was telling the uh, disciples which is also telling us now that he is the vine and we are the branches and we are connected to him he is our source so because we are connected to him we ought to be fruitful right in every area of our lives that's why we said that uh the month of may is our month of fruitfulness not only that our lord jesus christ is our our source of strength you know i like what he said when he's about to, before he left, he said, I'm not going to leave you alone, but I'm going to leave you with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is going to be your comforter, your standby, your advocate, your counselor, your teacher, your intercessor, you know, is going to guide you in all things. So we have the person of the Holy Spirit who helps us, who enables us to be empowered, you know, who, who strengthens us. So we thank God for that. So you can actually listen to the message on our YouTube channel at Fountain Insights TV. The message is available on our YouTube channel. So now today's message is very short, but very powerful, right? So we're going to be sharing on the topic blessed. You know, God said, uh, the, the Spirit of God kept on ministering to my spirit this week throughout that you are blessed you are blessed 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 and we have some scriptures that we shared i think it was during an inspiration uh for you yes um some of the scriptures that tells us that we are the seed of abraham right that tells us that we are the seed of abraham and we are blessed we are blessed so when you look at yourself you don't look at yourself and see just an ordinary person you know that you are blessed because you are a child of god right you are blessed so now we're going to be looking at some scriptures today while we're looking at the scriptures i would also like us to talk about to define blessed when you say you are blessed what do you mean so when we say you are blessed you're saying that you are actually made holy consecrated divinely or happily favored to be in favor with god to be in tune with the will of god i like that as well then to be granted those are some of the uh, definitions that i was actually checking as i was doing my research to be granted special favor by god with results joy and prosperity when you say you are blessed you are favored it means that you are specially favored by god so you are blessed you are a blessed child uh, child of god so that means you are specially favored by god with um uh, this is with resulting joy and pr prosperity so that means as a favored child of god you know there's joy there's prosperity because you are favored so god loves you because you are blessed right so we are blessed i'm going to be looking at some of the scriptures in the bible that will be telling us about the blessings and there are some of the scriptures that will be helping us see how we are blessed so if you have been looking at yourself and you're like you know because there are people that talk like that i think i'm cursed i think this I'm cursed. My family is cursed. This is cursed. Everything about me is cursed. No, you are not cursed. You are blessed. You are blessed. God has blessed you. God has blessed you. You are the seed of Abraham. So it doesn't matter what circumstances are like, what situations are, what you see, what is happening around you. You are blessed. 
you are blessed you are i like what we share during an inspiration for you during uh, i mean this week one of the inspiration says you are a career of god's great blessings and a distributor of the blessings so imagine that so you are blessed how do you see yourself or you to look at yourself and say you know what i am blessed yes i am blessed so let's look at some scriptures in the bible right now let's see let's get to the scriptures that will help us so we are granted special favor ha. special favor by god hmm? special favor by god so you are blessed i would like us to look at psalm chapter 31 quickly as we will continue to um more of the scriptures but we will look at psalm 31 verse 99 oh how abundant is your goodness which you have stored let me look at it in the niv version okay let's see i hope um our network is okay it says how abundant are the good things that you have stored up for those who fear you that you bestow in the sight of all those who take refuge in you. So do you fear God? Do you take refuge in God? Listen to what it says. Right? So now that is Psalm 31 verse 19. I want us to look at <clears throat> Second Corinthians first. Should we start with? Okay, let's look at Second Corinthians right away. Second Corinthians chapter 9 verse 8. So you are blessed. 2 Corinthians 9, verse 8. Let's see. Let me look at the NIV version. And God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. That's the NIV version. Let me read it for you in the King James Version. And God is able, right? As blessed as you are, listen to what it says. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you. All grace abound toward you. That ye always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. Right? That is 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 8. We are going somewhere and trying to lay the foundation on these. The scriptures are not much, but there is something that the Holy Spirit is ministering to us as he tells us how blessed we are as he reminds us <clears throat> okay so i'm gonna read let's look at jeremiah chapter 17. i'm gonna read the niv version uh verse 7 to 8 but blessed is the one who trusts in the lord says blessed is the one who trusts says, remember that the title is blessed you are blessed so when you are blessed you're saying that you are favored specially favored by the lord right you are favored by the lord so there's joy there's prosperity there's so much there's favor in your life you know so and then listen to what it says here but blessed is the one who trusts in the lord so if you trust in the lord you are blessed so that means you are favored. There will be like a tree. I think we also shared this during an inspiration for you. Um, recap. There will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. It leaves, I mean, its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. You are blessed. So because you are blessed, they there like a tree. But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord. So if you trust in the Lord, you are blessed. And listen to what it says. It says you are like a tree that is planted by the waters. So that means as blessed as you are, you are like that tree that is planted by the waters. So that means you are the beneficiary of all the blessings. You are the partaker of the blessings. You are blessed like that, such that no matter what may happen to you 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 are the first to benefit 
you are the first to benefit i like that so now let's look at another let's look at this one again this is they will be like a tree planted by the waters that sends out its roots by the stream it does not fear when heat comes so when you are blessed right you know you, you don't worry about what is going to happen you don't worry about how will i get this you don't know how will i be sustained you don't worry about who will provide for this how will i start where will i get the resources you are blessed so what you need to do is to be conscious of the blessings that are at work in your life what are the blessings that god has declared over your life that's why i always say that uh, we it's important for you to study the book of um I mean, I mean, to meditate on the scriptures, rather, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, for example, Jeremiah told, I mean, Joshua told us in Joshua 1a that we should not let the book of the Lord depart from our mouth, but we shall meditate in it day and night so that we may observe to do. So the only way you can observe to do, the only way you can know how blessed you are is through studying of the word of God. Knowing how blessed you are, knowing how God has blessed you, you can only know through the scriptures. And then listen to this, is. Um, there will be like a tree planted by the waters that sends out its roots by the stream. So if you don't know that you are like a tree that is planted by the waters that sends out its roots by the stream, how will you know that you don't need to struggle with resources? How will you know that you don't need to struggle mentally to think, I don't have all it takes, I don't have enough, there are no resources, you know? But when you know that you are blessed, when you are conscious of the blessings upon your life, what do you do? You quickly think of, God told me that I am blessed. And how blessed am I? You look at into the word of God. God, you said I have lived, you've supplied all my needs. I'm blessed like this. I'm the seed of Abraham. All things are mine. Blessings are mine. I live in plenty. I live in a, a joyful life. I live in prosperity. I live in health. I live in wealth. Because you are blessed. You can't be a blessed child of God and then you keep speaking about curses. You speak uh, talking about how you, 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 are, you have bad luck. You know, how things are not working for you and so on. You are blessed. You are a child of God. You need to be conscious of the blessings. So if he says you are like a tree that is planted by the waters, then you need to know how does that tree that is planted by the waters get sustained and then you begin to meditate with that knowledge with that insight that you know what i'm connected to my source i'm connected to my heavenly father himself oh, we spoke about this last week and say imagine you eat of god you eat from god you drink from god he's your source he provides you he empowers you how can you be so anointed so blessed yet so poor so blessed yes always complaining so blessed yes yet lacking no not a child of god you are blessed and the blessings ought to be showing up upon your life in your life the blessings ought to be you know i like that what you say during an inspiration for you said that you are a career of great blessings and a distributor of the blessings and when you are conscious of your blessing you're not just saying god i'm blessed and then he stays there no with the blessings that you carry, the blessings that you have, you know that you are a distributor of those blessings. The blessings are not just for you, but they are for others as well. You have other people in mind. When God blesses you, he blesses you because he has others in mind. He blesses you because he knows that you are a responsible person. He blesses you, he knows that if he can bless you with this, you will be able to bless others as well. You know, so that's why he is telling us that we are blessed. Let's look at another scripture as well. Okay, let's look at Galatians chapter 3. Okay, let's look at Galatians chapter 3. So you are blessed, Royal. You are a child of God that is blessed. Galatians chapter 3, verse 29. Let's see. I hope you also have your Bibles and you take time. And it says, and now that you belong to Christ, you are the true children of Abraham. Let me look at it on the this other version, the NIV version. So you are the seed of Abraham. If you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed, and here's according to the promise, right? 
Let's look at it to verse 30. Okay, let's see. Sorry, 29. If you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed, and he has according to the promise. If you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed. How blessed was Abraham? So if you are a seed of Abraham, that means you are blessed. Abraham was very blessed. He had, you know, he was blessed with many things. Talk about resources, made to reach wealth and so on. He was blessed. And then it says, you are the seed of Abraham. So because you are the seed of Abraham, you are also blessed. You need to be um, conscious of the blessings that are in your, in your life. If you don't know that you are the seed of Abraham, then you won't even care to know about how blessed Abraham was and how did God bless him, you know. But it says that you are the seed of Abraham. Now that you are the seed of Abraham, you are the beneficiary of the blessings here on earth. So imagine as a child of God, God is telling you you are blessed, yet you are always complaining, always crying, always, you know, blaming, always begging. No. It's time to rise from begging. It's time to arise from, you know, the lack. It's time to arise from pity. I mean, pitying yourself. It's time to arise and being conscious of the fact that you are blessed. Because you are blessed, things ought to happen in your life. Because you are blessed, your material blessings ought to locate you. Because you are blessed, doors ought to open uh, for you. Because you are blessed, favor locates you. Because you are blessed, honor. You know why? Because you are a child of God that is blessed. You ought to be conscious of your blessings. You have to be conscious of who you are. A seed of Abraham. I am blessed. Because I'm blessed, all things work together for my good. Every area of my life and everything that I do, I produce because I'm blessed. So if you are blessed, your business ought to be blessed. If you are blessed, your ministry ought to be blessed. If you are blessed, your children ought to be blessed. If you are blessed, your family ought to be blessed. If you are blessed, everything about you ought to be blessed. You cannot be blessed and the people around you are not getting blessed. If you are blessed, then the people around you should be the beneficiary of what you are blessed with, of the blessings at work in you. Let's look at another one. Okay, like I said, that the scriptures are few. The message is very brief. It's a reminder of how blessed we are. Okay, so now let's look at Philippians. Um, sorry. Let's see. Philippians 4.19. I am a seed of Abraham. But my God shall supply all you need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So because you are blessed, your God will su supply all your needs. God is the supplier of all your needs. What do you want? About your business, about your job, about your, your, your family, your, pro your vision, your projects. It says, my God shall supply all my needs. You are blessed, so, so God will supply all your needs. That's how much he loves you. That's how much he has favored you. Okay, I want us to look at Genesis chapter 128. Look at this. Look at how blessed you are. And then we're going to look at Deuteronomy chapter 28. Let's look at the NIV version. Look at this. It's a reminder of how blessed we are, royals. God blessed them. So God blessed um, Adam, right? And Eve, this is what he said. God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, and over every living creature that moves on the ground. He blessed them and said to them, be fruitful and increase in number. We say this is our month of fruitfulness, right? This is uh, some of the scriptures. God blessed them. God has blessed you. And as he has blessed you, he is saying to you, be fruitful 
and increase in number. It might not be the number for children at this point. It may be the number of your finances. It may be the number of your riches, your, your, your material blessings. And so but God has already blessed you. So that means there's nothing whatsoever, no kind of spell, no plan of the enemy, nothing whatsoever, no meeting against you that can be prepared and succeed. God has already blessed you, right? He has already blessed you. He says, be fruitful and multiply. He has already told you, go and be fruitful. So there's nothing to fear about your business. Go and be fruitful. You are blessed. He says, God bless them and say to them, be fruitful and increase in number. So you can increase in your ministry. You can increase in your business. You can increase in your finances. You can increase in every area of your life. Increase in ideas. Increase in knowledge. Increase in creativity. Increase in wisdom. Increase in every area of your life because you are blessed. You are blessed. And then it says rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky. It says rule. Rule. So God has given you dominion. God has given you, uh, I mean, charge. Authority says rule. So if you are a blessed child of God, you have the right to rule. So that means it says rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and over every living creature that moves on the ground. Every living creature that lives on the ground. Does, does that mean you must be bullied? Does that mean you must be, you know, treat people anyhow or do because God said you, you must rule? No. We, we need the wisdom of God. Whereas when God is blessed and says rule, that means wherever you are, there ought to be authority in your life. You ought to take charge, have dominion, rule. You can't be ruled by situations. You can't be ruled and tossed to and fro by every challenge. You can't be, you know, everything that comes on your way, you follow. Every wind blows you. Everything, every challenge, every tear, every destruction, every, you are just blown away. But it says rule. So that means you ought to be, to, to take charge, you must have authority. Remind yourself every now and then, I'm blessed. And I'm, I'm, I'm the one in charge. God has put me in charge. So if he's telling you, I have blessed you, go and, and rule, go and multiply. Rule over everything that lives in the, on the earth. So that means every material, you know, blessing or whatever, for us to lack is because of, it's our choice. Because we want to. God has already told us, go and rule. So you can actually rule over resources, rule over this. You need to know what, what, what are, what are your, your, your roles in Christ? How do you rule? Why, where, God, where has God blessed you? If he has given you authority over, you know, maybe projects or visions or whatever, he tells you rule, then you need to ask him. You ask the person of the Holy Spirit, God, Holy Spirit, help me. How do I rule in my business? How do I rule in my nation? How do I rule in my family? How do I rule in my organization? How do I rule in, in the assignments that you give me? Because there's a way to rule. When he tells you rule, he's not saying go and bully. When he says rule, he's not saying go and treat people anyhow or do whatever because you are ruling. No, you are blessed as a child of God. There's a way to rule. You, you have the authority to command because you are blessed, right? And then that's when he tells us that we can command situ I mean, things to fall in place. You have the power to tell things to fall in place. Look at what happened to Jesus. Look how he calmed the storm. He understood his authority. He understood what he carried. He understood how blessed he was. He understood the power that he had. When Jesus, I mean, when the disciples were like, God, oh, Jesus, don't you care that we perish? Look, 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 whatever. The, the, the storm. He woke up and calmed the storm. He said, peace be still. He understood how he, he had to rule over the situation. So he says, rule. You are blessed. Be fruitful. Multiply and rule over fishes, over everything, that every living thing that lives on earth. You can rule. So circumstances shouldn't be the ones ruling you. Challenges shouldn't be the one ruling you. Every problem rules you left right and said that you are 
or ever distracted with depression, you name it, stress. You are the first to, 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 to be sick because of stress. Yet God has blessed you and has told you that rule. So you rule over situations. There shouldn't be any challenge that controls you, that controls your, your, your emotions, your mind. There shouldn't be any temptation or any challenge that, you know, bullies you. You are the one in charge. You remind yourself of how blessed you are and say, I am blessed. I am the seed of Abraham because I am blessed. I rule, I reign. I'm the royal priesthood, a holy nation. Things fall in place because I am blessed. You speak to your week, you speak to your day, you speak to your projects, you speak ahead because you are blessed. Just be fruitful and multiply. So how can you want to multiply when you don't even know that you are blessed? How can you expect results in your business when you're not aware of how blessed you are? You are blessed, royals. Now look at this one. As we get ready to round up. Okay, so let's look at Deuteronomy chapter 28. Let's look at up let's look at our blessings. Deuteronomy chapter 28. We're going to read Deuteronomy chapter 28. I will take the NIV version. Look at what God is saying regards to the blessings. It says if you fully obey the Lord of God and have and carefully follow all his com commands, that was those are the um, you know, the blessings that were spoken over the, the children of Israel, the Israelites, right? Then if you fo fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all his commands I give to you, the Lord your God will, will set you high, high above all nations on earth. That was Moses telling them about the blessings that God is saying. <clears throat> it says, all these blessings will come on you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. So now, you are conscious now that you are blessed. You need to know that in your blessing, you obey the Lord. You obey the word of God. You are a child of God that obeys his word. Right? And then it says, you will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. So when you obey the word of the Lord, you will be blessed in the city, blessed in the country. Right? The fruit of your womb will be blessed and the crops of your <coughs> land and the young of your livestock, the calves of your heads and the lambs of your, your flocks, your basket and your kneading through will be blessed. You will be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. So you are blessed in your coming in and blessed in your going out. <coughs> excuse, <coughs> excuse me. The Lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before you. They will come at, at you from one direction, but flee from you in seven ways. Right? So, enemies that plan, plot to do anything against you, the way you are so blessed, as they try to come in, they flee in different directions. Because you are blessed. So, there's no reason for you being, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> uh, scared of enemies scared of attacks scared of what who can be with you can do what you are blessed do you know when god is telling you that you are blessed what it means there's no weapon of the devil fashioned against you shall prosper the lord will send a blessing on your bonds and on everything you put your hand to do the lord your god will bless you in the land he is giving you so wherever you are some people will say I, I'm not doing well here because of this and that. God says, wherever he puts you, where, in whatever land you step, you are blessed there. So you can't tell, say, <clears throat> because I'm in a foreign land, I'm not making progress because I don't have this and that. I can't, I can't be blessed. No. Wherever you are blessed, wherever you go, you'll be blessed there. Because the blessings of God do not look for areas. The, the blessings of God do not mention which of the areas uh, should you be blessed. You can, you are blessed everywhere you go. In your coming in and in your going out, you are blessed. As you touch whatever you do, you are blessed. That's how 
uh, excuse me, how blessed you are. So you ought to be fruitful in every area of your life. Let's look at the Lord will establish you as his holy people as he promised you on earth if you keep the commands of the Lord your God and walk in obedience to them. It says the Lord will establish you. So you being blessed is because, I mean, it is it, 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 that, you know, the Lord establishes you. You can't say you are blessed and there's no establishment in your businesses, establishment in, in all the blessings that God blesses you with. There ought to be establishment, right? The Lord will grant you, a, <coughs> excuse me, abundant prosperity in the fruit of your womb. You know, when it talks about, when it says in the fruit of your womb, you know, the way I've understood the word of God, the way I've come to understand the word of God or to apply the word of God to myself, when it says the fruit of the womb, I'm not only just thinking of the female womb. Anything that ought to be producing is a womb to me. If it's about my bank account, that is my womb. It ought to be fruitful. If it's about my, you know, whether uh, your source of income, whatever, it's your womb. It ought to be fruitful. If it's about your your womb, yes, your your your, your the the womb, female womb, then you you are having a challenge with maybe bearing a child and so on. You can meditate on this one and say, God said, I, I I ought to be fruitful. I said I'll be fruitful in my womb. I'll produce. Then you can apply it to that situation, you know, and begin to put it to put the word of God to work. But now if, at this point, me, I'm 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 already thinking. Which one is my womb now in my finances? You know, it says you be fruitful. So what is the womb of your finances? It says you be fruitful. In the fruit of your womb, the young of your livestock and the crops of your ground in the land you saw to your sisters to give you. The Lord will open the heavens, the storehouse of his bounty to send rain on your land in season and to bless all the work of your hands. That's how blessed you are. He blesses all the work of your hands. You know, those that work with the hands in the businesses and so on, you are blessed. Imagine as blessed as you are, you can't be creative. As blessed as you are, you can't come up with ideas. As blessed as you are, you cannot even have more clients. As blessed as you are, you can't be creative even more with what you're doing. No. You can't be, you know, as a child of God that is blessed, you can't be doing same thing over and over and, and over again and ex still expect fruitfulness results you ask for the wisdom of god god should have blessed me with all spiritual blessings i'm blessed and because i'm blessed i'm blessed in my mind i'm creative i'm blessed with creativity i'm blessed with ideas i'm i'm blessed with this then you begin to let the holy spirit guide you on how to change things <clears throat> excuse me for better as a blessed child of god doesn't necessarily mean that you're just sitting there saying, i'm blessed i'm blessed no you are blessed meaning everything about you ought to be i like the thing that was during one of the messages that we shared and we say that i think it was <coughs> excuse me uh, during an inspiration for you we said um that god wants to reveal his glory through you in different dimensions there ought to be something new every single day of your life there ought to be different dimensions of the beauty of god at work in you so you are blessed then there ought to be that beauty in your life something must be happening okay so now there are other scriptures that we're supposed to take like for example i'm going to take uh let's look at genesis chapter I'm going to call out the other ones. Genesis chapter 26. <clears throat> Genesis chapter 26. Let's look at it. Genesis chapter 26 verse... What verse is this? Let's look at it from verse 14. <clears throat> Isaac planted crops in that land... And the same year reaped a hundredfold because the Lord blessed him. That was Isaac. <coughs> the man became rich and his wealth continued to grow until he became very wealthy. 
blessed. It says Isaac planted crops in the land. It says in that land, and the same year reaped a hundredfold because the Lord blessed him. So Isaac reaped in the same year a hundredfold because the Lord blessed him. So if God has blessed you, there ought to be fruitfulness. <clears throat> then it says the man became rich and his wealth. I mean, his wealth continued to grow until he became very wealthy. He had so many flocks and herds and servants that the Philistines envied him. But so all the wells that his father's servants had dug in the time of his father Abraham, the Philistines stopped up filling them with earth. So they were now jealous of him. So don't forget that as you declare all the blessings and you experience all the blessings in life, you experience people that will envy you as well. So you need to be of the wisdom of God. You need to be filled with the wisdom of God to know how to, you know, <clears throat> to handle all the situations. Like Isaac, Isaac was very smart. You know, whenever they would fight him, he would move, go to another one. Because he, the guy was already blessed. Like, you know, nobody can fight your blessing. You are so much blessed such that even if they want to try and close this opportunity for you, you go there, you open another one, another one. But because you are blessed. So because you are blessed, that's why it says that wherever you go, you ought to be fruitful there. Wherever you go, in what you do, it, you must produce there. So people may start, may try to block you from opportunities everywhere. You just shift to another place and begin to, uh, I mean, produce because you are blessed. So every every word that Isaac did, water will come out, and they're like, ah, they because the guy was very rich at all things to a point that they envied him in everything that he did, <clears throat> you know. And then you will move from one place to another. Go do that. They'll come and close. Do that and come and go, go fight him. So you experience such things as well, but you, you don't move by all those things. You are blessed, and you have the wisdom of God on how to handle all that. So as you are getting blessed every day of your life, you know, you will begin to experience even oppositions and so on. But you need to know how to handle those. Look at Isaac. He never fought anybody. He moved, go start to get move until they got tired. They were like, oh, you know, because you are already blessed. You are a child of God who is blessed and highly favored. Nobody can fight your blessings. Nobody can stop your blessings. And no situation can stop you from prospering. No challenge, no spell, nothing can stop you. <clears throat> no matter what they can do, no matter the cases they can make, nothing can stop you from making progress in life because you're blessed. So you need to be conscious of the blessings that are at work in your life, the blessings that you carry, who you are in Christ. That's why we say it. we must have that connection with our Lord Jesus Christ. And you must have, you know, the fellowship with the Holy Spirit. It's very important to study the word of God. Know God for yourself. Know the word for yourself. Because when you have the knowledge of the word of God, you cannot be, you know, moved all over. without Like somebody who doesn't know what he's doing or she's doing. Okay? So, what does the Bible say? It says, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Hosea 4, 6. So, what you need is the knowledge of the word of God. So that you can know how blessed you are and you begin to function in those blessings you begin to you know to to be conscious of those blessings and you begin to call forth the blessings that are already in you you let them manifest you let them out because you are already blessed that's how much that's how much god has loved us he has blessed you given you all things that pertain to life and godliness it is up to you to bring out the blessings that are already in you. So you are blessed beyond mission. Okay, so that is all for today, Raz. We've got some other scriptures that we're supposed to take, <clears throat> like Psalm 33, verse 19, Psalm 32, verse 1, Matthew 5, 8, Job 5, 17, and Romans chapter 4, verse, let's see. Is it Romans chapter 7? I think Romans chapter 4, verse 8, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. <clears throat> Job 5.17 So there's this, some of the scriptures that you can read You can also take some time to do research In the word of God Search the scriptures And find out how blessed you are You'll be amazed 
you are so blessed so so blessed such that you know the way god loves you and wants to see you manifest those blessings while you are thinking i don't have everything god is saying you have all things while you are thinking i can't do it god is saying you can do it while you are, while you are thinking i can't move from one place to another god is like what is this one doing you can move from one place to another you can do this you can succeed in that because i've already blessed you so we are blessed <coughs> excuse me we are blessed we are blessed real so you have to thank god for that so if you're watching me right now and you are not born again and you don't have a relationship with our lord jesus christ i would like to lead you with the prophet salvation right now the bible says that in the book of romans 10 9 um if you confess with your mouth that jesus is lord and believe in your heart that god raised him from the dead says you will be saved so if you want to partake on the blessings that we're talking about you want to be the beneficiary of the blessings that we are mentioning right now as we call you blessed it's because you are born again if you're not born again you can't partake of the blessings you cannot know how blessed you are because you don't have a relationship with your father so you need to have a relationship with your father for you to know how blessed you are right so i would like you to say this prayer after me and mean it with all your heart so that you can give your love to christ then we can pray say oh lord god i come to you in the name of jesus christ your word says whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be saved right now i ask you jesus to come into my heart and be the lord of my life from this day thank you for dying for my sins and thank you for rising again from the dead for my justification i have eternal life now i'm born again i'm a new creation in christ jesus thank you father for saving me in jesus name amen <clears throat> congratulations if you've said this prayer you are born again you are a new creation and guess what now you can begin to learn more about the blessings upon your life through the word of god as you study the scriptures glory to god so that is all for today rose we're going to take some time to pray right now <clears throat> and thank god for the blessings and we thank him for blessing us so much and loving us so much and as we pray, we decree and declare that may everything that we do truly manifest results because we are blessed. You know, when you are blessed, your blessings are the ones that make noise more than yourself. You don't need to be telling people, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. They will see how blessed you are by the results in your life, the fruitfulness in your life. You know, we will see how blessed you are before you even say it. You can say it in your room. Declare your blessings. Speak words. Prophesy. Make confessions. And go out and begin to put the word to work. The results will show up. But you don't need to be announcing, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. They come and see, look, this I have this because I'm blessed. No, they will see with the results in your life. Without even telling. And some they will even come to ask about your blessings and then you will bring them to Christ. You will have an opportunity to win them to Christ because they will be attracted by the blessings at work in you. So as they see the blessings upon your life, they're like, wow, I want to partake on these blessings and they can come. So tell us the secret. Then you are able to tell them the secret is my God. The secret is the precious Holy Spirit to work in me. The secret is the word of God that I understand and I know who I am. The secret is because I'm conscious of the word of God that he has declared over my life and told me how blessed I am. So I'm applying the word of God and it is producing results. This is how I pray. This is how, why? Because they will see. Then you can win souls through the blessings at work in you. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word that we have received this morning, this afternoon, this evening. Thank you, God, for reminding us of how blessed we are. Thank you, God, as we are conscious of the blessings in our lives. Lord, they are being made manifest. We are producing results in our businesses. We are producing results in our jobs. We are producing results 
in our projects, in our visions, in our ministries, in every area of our lives, we are producing results. We are fruitful. In our families, we are fruitful. In our finances, oh God, we produce results because we are blessed. We are the seed of Abraham. And because we are the seed of Abraham, we lack nothing. Lord, we are the beneficiary of the blessings. We are the carrier of your great blessings. And we are, again, the distributor of those blessings. We thank you as we begin our new week. Our week is blessed. It's fruitfulness upon fruitfulness. Lord, we thank you. Wherever we go in our going out and in our coming in, we are blessed. Everything we touch is blessed. Everything we do is blessed. Every move we make, Lord, we are blessed. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for your word that is working and producing results in our lives. Lord, we thank you that through your the results in our lives, oh God, Yes, there will be noiser than our mouths. Your, the, your results will speak more than us. And as they see the fruitfulness of your works in our lives, so God, they'll come to you. Many souls will be won through us as they begin to experience the fruitfulness and they begin to witness the fruitfulness in our lives. Lord, we thank you for blessing us. Thank you for giving us dominion. Thank you for teaching us through your word on how to rule here on earth. Lord, we are grateful. We thank you for the blessed week ahead. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Glory to God. So that is all for today, Royals. I hope you were blessed by the message. You received something. You might not have taken everything. You might not have taken all the scriptures. But at least remember that you are blessed. And because you are blessed, everything about your life ought to be blessed. And you have to be fruitful in your life because you are blessed. The Holy Spirit at work in your life causes you to produce results in every area. Wherever you go, in your coming out, in your coming in, you are blessed. Even as you speak, you speak blessings. Glory to God. I love you also dearly. <coughs> that is all for today. I'll see you again next Sunday. And then we'll share more of the word of God as the spirit leads us. I love you all so dearly. Like I always say every time, stay blessed. Like I always say, yes, stay blessed. As blessed as you are, stay blessed. Stay connected. Stay in the word of God. Don't move an inch away from the presence of God. God loves you and he cares about you. That's why he blessed you so much. And you know what? Walk like a king that you are. Like a royal person that you are. As you start your new week, tell yourself. Say to yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror. I am blessed. And today, it's blessings upon blessings. God bless you. I love you. This is Rati Shalom. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening to you all. I greet you once again. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'll see you next Sunday for more of the word of God as we get blessed. For now, enjoy your new week ahead. Stay blessed because you are blessed. I love you.